as I mentioned in the previous tutorial, as well as the Luma corrector and the Luma curves, there are actually RGB color correctors and RGB curves. And they work in this way. The Luma ones are just interested in the luminance of a shot, allowing you to then add separate effects to control the color of a shot later on. Whereas the RGB effects will affect the luminance to a certain extent and the color channels, allowing you to change or boost the color channels as they are. So if I use a luminance control, luminance corrector or luminance curve, luma curve, then I have the opportunity to colorize this separately with a separate colorizing effect, whereas RGB is pretty much going to do all the color correcting, taking what is there and boosting it in accordance or in line with the luminance changes. So if you feel that overall the color was good enough to start with, then you might then say RGB curves are going to suit me a little bit better. Anyway, what I'm going to do is turn off the luma corrector and I'm going to make sure my footage is selected, which it is. Bear in mind I've moved this layout around just for the sake of the tutorial. I've got my reference monitor here with the YC waveform, with the seal, the chroma turned off, so it's just luminance. My program monitor here, and I've got the color corrector workspace is what we're working in. So I click effects, and I've typed in RGB, and you'll see they've got RGB color corrector, which is like the luma corrector, and I've got RGB curves, and I'm just going to demonstrate RGB curves double click to apply, go back to effects controls and there are my RGB curves. Now notice again at the bottom we've got secondary color correction so the ability to be able to go in and select one particular thing, create a mask around one particular color or luminance or, or item that you want to work on and just change that with these curves. But we are going to work on the master one here. We do have access notes to the RGB channels separately so that if we feel that we play with the master here and the RGB are not quite correct, or perhaps we're looking at the RGB parade, now actually these are very well balanced, but if they were imbalanced, you could go in and change your R, your G and your B separately, red, green, blue separately, to make them more balanced if you want to. So what we can do is we can look at how this is going to affect all three channels. If I want to, of course, I can affect each one of them separately. So let's do what we did with the Luma Curve. Let's just have a look at the Luma Curve. We pulled the top in, so we forced more pixels towards pure white and more of the dark pixels towards pure black, and we changed the contrast slightly. So let's do a very similar thing with the master. So let's pull that across, and you can see that looking at my RGB parade, let's just pull them so just touching that 100% line. There we go. We've got those pretty much at the top. And let's do the dark pixel, see if we can pull that down so it gets to the zero line at the bottom. So pulling them down to about there, just about to touch, there you go. So we've got quite a nice wide range. And now I can pull down the contrast a little bit in the middle to give myself a very similar look. But you will notice there's quite a significant difference between the RGB curves and the Luma curves because RGB is working on the color channels and not just the luminance. So if I turn off RGB curves and turn on Luma curves, you'll see that that looks quite muted in comparison. Now this might be exactly what you want because you intend to colorize the shot at the end with a separate colorizing effect. So what you want to do is go through, make sure that the Luma ranges are all perfect for your shot, and then put an adjustment layer over the top or nest them in a separate sequence and add a single effect which is going to colorize the whole thing to give you the sort of look or feel that you want. However, if you feel that your footage is okay in the first place and you want to work with those instead, you can use the RGB which is actually pushing the pixels in the red, green and blue channels separately which has boosted the colors as you can see. So we've got a richer looking color in this. Now you do this if you think your colors are okay, you're happy to work with them. But if you want to colorize them separately, that's when you use the Luma Curve workflow. So they're two separate workflows. Now you might turn around and say, do you know what, I've got plenty on the red and green, they're okay, but I want to boost more of the blue. So I can, if I want, go in and boost more of those blues up if I want to separately, because I've got this ability to get to the separate channels with RGB. And you can see that's actually brought a bit of blue into this beam of light here, which is quite an interesting look. Might not be what you want but you can see that you've got access to those color channels to play around with them and change them as you want to get them a lot more balanced. So that's the difference between the RGB curves and the Luma curves. Luma curves you would use if you intend to colorize separately at the end of your shot. 
However, if you just want to work with the footage that you've got and you're happy with it, you can actually increase the luma range with the RGB curves as well as boosting and working with the color channels as one or separately as you wish.